What's up, Internet? Jose Padilla here, Everything Manly. Word of advice, before you even think about joining the gym, make sure that you check out what the gym has to offer. You can't just sign up for any gym because of the price, even though the price is a huge determining factor. But no, price is not everything. There's no point in having a cheap gym if you can't do much. This is what your gym must have equipment series. Please make sure to like this video down below. It helps me a lot. If you want to make nice games, here's the things that your gym must have in order for you to accomplish that. The gym must have at least two barbell bench presses. And what I mean by that is they must have two dedicated barbell bench press kits. That's the bench and the racks where you will be able to do the bench presses. And the function of those two sets must be entirely, entirely, entirely to do bench presses, nothing else. Some gyms have some variety junk that is both a bench press and some other nonsense don't. You're gonna have a really tough time. I mean, I'm talking about possibly impossible for you to build nice gains without a bench press. I know some Planet Fitnesses don't have bench presses, so I wouldn't even bother. I know the price is $10, but if you don't have a bench press, don't even think about joining that gym. Moving on to number two, they must have a squat rack. And what a squat rack is, is sometimes it's a square with a rack where you can put the barbell and then just do your squats from there. Now this also functions as a place for you to do pull-ups and chin-ups. Which leads me on to the next thing, they must have somewhere at least two or three places for you to be able to do pull-ups. Pull-ups is where you hang on and then boom, you lift yourself up, bam, bam. That's a huge back building exercise right there. So if you can't do pull-ups at the gym, get out of that gym right now, buddy. Moving on to dumbbells, if your gym doesn't have at least 90 pound dumbbells, don't join because you're easily gonna be able to bench 90 pound dumbbells like nothing. I have that dilemma at the gym right now. Um, I can easily go over 90 pound dumbbells, but the max they have is 90. And you know what, 90 is my limit because usually I'm doing barbell instead of dumbbell, but it would be nice to have 120 pound dumbbells at your disposal. Again, Planet Fitness has, I believe, 70? Well, the one around here, the max is 70. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with 70 pounds? I'm, I'm, what am I gonna do with them? <clears throat> Moving on to the next part, this is not a deal breaker, but it's something that I personally like at a gym and prefer a gym that has it, and that's uh, alcohol wipes. Wipes that disinfect so that you can clean whatever you want before you touch the machine. Now, I'm not big on cleaning the machines, meaning I don't care if the machine's dirty. We're at the gym, we're all gonna get dirty. I know there's some people that constantly wipe everything, but I use the wipes mainly to wipe my headphones and my phone after I'm done with the workout because they're gonna be full of germs and I don't wanna take the germs back into my car. My gym has that feature and it's pretty nice. And then you guys have it. These are the equipment that your gym must have in order for you to have a really nice workout and to be able to make some nice gains. Without them, it'll be impossible. If you have any video suggestions, feel free to write them down below. Jose Padilla is out.